here we see a prophecy about O Palestinia, and it says that the rod of him, rejoice not thou, whole Palestinia, because of the rod of him that smote thee is broken, and that is Judah. They smote the Palestinians in Gaza, and they're not in Gaza any longer, and of course they are rejoicing because they're not in Gaza any longer, the house of Judah. But it says that they are broken. So more deadly times are going to come upon Judah, the Jews, more terrorism, more state-sponsored terrorism from Iran, and we got Hamas, and we got uh, the, the wars are going to take its toll on Judah until they are broken. And when they are broken, because they are broken, then comes a smoke coming out of the north, verse 31, Howl, O gate, cry, O city, thou whole Palestinia, art dissolved. Now notice that's the same time setting as uh, Isaiah the 19th chapter. We see Egypt dissolved. We see Egypt afraid and feeble and weak. And this is, the tame, this is the same time setting here. O Palestinia, thou art dissolved, for there shall come from the north a smoke. Now that word smoke, that word smoke means a numerous army raising a dust like a smoke as they move along and coming with great swiftness. And that's in Gill's commentary. And the Ferrar Fenton translation also has not alone, but in masses. So, and the Palestinians, as I, said, as I mentioned earlier, it says they are dissolved, and it means here they are literally melted, fainted. They faint through fear, and that's the same language as Isaiah, the 19th chapter, verse 16 and 17. So obviously this is the same time setting. So come from the north a smoke and none shall be alone in his appointed times. And what shall one then answer? The messengers of the nation. So here the Palestinians are going to down to these troops that are coming in, and they're asking them why they are there. And then it says, the answer is, that the Lord hath founded Zion, and the poor of his people shall trust in it. So here we see the people from the north coming down into Judah and establishing themselves there because Judah is broken. And they're establishing themselves there, so it's obviously a pro-Israeli foreign policy. They've come to protect Israel, to defend Israel. And also, as it says in Jeremiah, the 47th chapter of this same prophecy, it says, Behold, verse 2, Rise up out of the north, and shall be an overflowing flood, and shall overflow the land, and all that is therein, the city, and them that dwell therein. Then the men shall cry, and all the inhabitants of the land shall howl. So here we see the king of the north having a pro-Israeli foreign policy to protect Israel. Israel's going to go through some bad times in the future of terrorism, of Iran, the threats from Iran, the wars, and so on with the Palestinians till Judah is broken, and the king of the north, NATO, shall come to his aid to protect Judah.